hi, today we'll do another website review. It should be CZ Plant. Uh, it's a website uh, mostly from Europe, but I will show you what I would take if I was buying some plants from them for my windowsill. So coming up. So here is CZ plants. Uh, they sell carnivorous plants, but also exotic plants. Uh, the website is good, but I want to show you that they are from Czech Republic. So it's in Europe. You will, uh, it will be great for European. Uh, the fast shipping will be great. Uh, but they also sell uh, everywhere on the planet. So if I check the sale term and business, uh, nah, order, blah, 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 price, and then shipping. We will have uh, everything, Brazil, Japan, USA, etc. So uh, that's great. You can uh, clearly order from uh, them when uh, you are not in Europe. So that's perfect. I will very probably one day try this uh, website and those plants. But for now, let's see what they would have that would interest me for my windowsill. Uh, again, my windowsill is just slightly colder than the regular one. Uh, so the uh, plants I will pick are the ones that will under this colder night. But depending where you are, there is plants there on this website that uh, you will want to to choose because everything that is uh, Rafflesiana, uh, Ampularia, uh, Campanulana, uh, all those uh, enjoy warmer nights. So um, you can find good plants, uh, hybrid of these plants uh, here. I will only pick the intermediates and hybrids because that's the most likely a plant that you will get on your windowsill. Uh, pure species are slower. Uh, they could easily grow also, but uh, that's not something I would recommend for uh, beginners uh, and that can be expensive, frustrating, etc. So uh, this is intermediate, hybrid, perfect for a windowsill. As the last time, I will uh, act like I have $150 to spend and we'll see what species I would take and uh, why. So Rebecca Soper, uh, it's a very classic one, uh, $12 it's cheap. Uh, same for this one, uh, Bill Belay uh, will like it colder at night. Uh, that's not like a Gaia that will uh, really enjoy uh, the warmer condition. The Singolana uh, will need colder nights. For example, just to give you an idea, this uh, Bill Belay. First, the plant is great. Classic hybrid, looks great. So, Bill Belay Singalana Ventricosa. So again, Tom Carnivore, Singalana. So, as you see, island, directly and the ventricosa will make it more intermediate, but still, it's, you see it's more on the right, on the highland uh, part. So it's under clearly co some cold night. Uh, for example, uh, if you are in uh, Fahrenheit, 50 to 62 Fahrenheit, that's really cold. Uh, but it will be able to handle quite a warm uh, day, so 80 Fahrenheit. So again, as long as you will have cooler night, this plant is perfect. The Bilbele, perfect. Shania Vichii. This one, I just uh, got it. It's uh, on my uh, basement, uh, like a quarantine. I just got it. I know the previous owner had trips. I just got rid of mine. So, um, yeah, quarantine. It will stay for 40 days, uh, somewhere safe, closed, and I will see if it grow properly or not. So this one, I already know it's uh, a keeper. I, I bought it, literally. Look at that. Looks great. And you always have on this website 
a little bit of description that is uh, really useful. So six to eight centimeter. Again, six to eight. So that's gonna be like three inch. Uh, good size for this price. Yeah, twenty-four dollar or twenty euro. Yeah, definitely uh, interesting for this one. And see, it's a BE, so it's exactly the same as I have. Let me check something else. Next one, uh, Bocian Mira. Yes, could be interesting. Bocciana is more on the lowland. Let me double check. And Mira. See? Center, slightly on the left, so on the warmer part. But still, uh, you can uh, have uh, 17 at night, so that's good. For intermediate, I mean. And if I open this one... Yeah, BE. So uh, most of their plants, if not all, are Borneo exotic. Uh, it's always good to know where they come from, uh, so you can compare, see uh, the same plants that you plan to buy, how it will look like, like uh, in a year, two years, or five years, because that's the same clone exactly. So uh, Vichyai Maxima, very interesting too. Um, yeah, I would take it. When it's just open, it's not uh, really... It can be plain green, but usually you will have these nice stripes. Um, Vichyai is already great. Maxima will make it like uh, more um, accepting every kind of uh, condition, really. Maxima is great for um, the windowsill. So, this one, definitely, uh, I would take it, yeah. Spectabilis Pladicaila, yes, for sure. Uh, again, it will be more on the colder night side. So maybe that's uh, great, I mean, for uh, Europe uh, or Canada. Uh, first, the plant is uh, looking great. Nice stripes, uh, the body color, everything is pretty cool. And uh, I'm sure when it will be mature, the Pladicaila will just make it uh, uh, better for like wilder peristome. Uh, that will be quite a fun plant to have. What else? And they are not crazy expensive, right? So. Uh, that's definitely something you want to consider. Okay, Burke Flava. That's interesting. It should be like fat and... Uh... Oh yeah, look at this one. Very nice. And you have some teeth. I mean, the peristome is not uh, totally uh, uh, flat. So that's huh. interesting, the Flava. Spatulata ampullaria. Okay, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier. If you have a warmer night, that should help this ampullaria. Let's have a look. So I said Spatulata ampullaria. Oh, wow. Look at that. So it's really able to handle an extremely wild uh, condition. So as you see during the day temperature, uh, that's a lot of difference. Uh, and the night, if it's cold or warm, it's gonna be fine. This one is very impressive. It should really be able to handle every kind of condition. Yeah, very cool. So let's look at that. Nice. And big, quite big actually. Look at the size. It's not a tiny Ampularia. Okay. Singalana Burkei, more on the colder part, but uh, that's gonna be great. Spectabilis Vichyai, I already have the same plants at home, doing great on the windowsill. 
it will prefer winter for me because it's cool cooler at night but uh, still uh, i still uh, see some uh, growth during the summer so that's great okay this one meriliana aristolocalis uh, this one should also be interesting and tubby i mean yeah pretty tubby because of the aristo but This one will like it warmer. Uh, again, if you check the temperature, up to 85 Fahrenheit during uh, the warmer part of the day. And even if you only have uh, 68, 65 at night, it will be happy. So uh, yeah, that's the kind of plant that uh, you will want for a warmer windowsill. So, Ventricosa glandu, uh, glandulifera, ventri, so it's clearly for windowsill. Okay, same. It will like it warmer, not too cool. It could handle that uh, up as low as 55 Fahrenheit at night, but uh, it can be pretty high during the day. What else? Ramispina, Vogeliae, yeah, why not? Ampularia Aristo. So that's gonna be really a round uh, plant picture. Look at that. No, oh, yeah. Hmm, interesting sh shape. Egg shape. Um, and you have all the informations. What uh, was the parent, uh, etc. So it's always interesting for you to double check, to have a look at the parent, and then you can picture what it may look like. But uh, this one is interesting. Let me double check something. For me, that should be a, a really a lowland. Ampularia. Aristo. Well, not that lowland, actually. I mean, it could. It could handle a lot of heat, but uh, okay, it's still good for intermediate. They are really good at uh, sorting their plants for uh, intermediate sometime. On the website, you will see uh, intermediate and it's borderline lowland, but uh, they sorted properly all those plants. Petulata talegensis. Yes, uh, that's definitely interesting. And the peristome looks great. It reminds me a little bit the Lidipoline. Talagensis, okay. Petulata talagensis was great, but Talagensis rubcantlii, oh yeah, this one is really promising. Like, what is. Wilder, peristome, la good flare. Oh, that's a very nice plant for sure. Talagensis. Yeah. So this one, again, uh, Talagensis plus Rocketlii for my window seal. Even for my window seal, it will be uh, kind of a tricky. Um, it will be more uh, tough because that's an hybrid, but still, uh, you can tell it will like the cooler night. So that's going to be great during winter. During summer, um, it may slow down because again, uh, during summer, all th those temperatures are higher. So warmer night warmer days, uh, the plants may stress a little bit and uh, don't really produce as uh, many pictures. Glandulifera vicii, yeah, looks really red, but uh, great. Ventricosa birkei, 
Uh, I was that close to uh, to be able to do it, uh, to do my own seeds of this cross. But uh, yeah, for window seal, pff, not even a problem. Uh, spatulata platicata. Yes, this one would work. So Maxima Talagensis, that's gonna be the Lady Pauline crossed with Rob Cantley So the Maxima Telegensis is already working on my windowsill. Cross that with Rob Cantley it's even better. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, look at the peristome. Yeah, that would be almost the, the one I would pick uh, directly. Especially for a thirty dollar, like pff, yeah, yeah. If you you want a good, nice plant, this one for me is uh, one of the best I've seen because that should be really really tough and uh, uh, some good uh, growth. So, oh, the, this one, Ventricosa sibulensis. I don't know if it will work for my windowsill, but. It's also uh, on quarantine. So you will see what it looks like in other video. But yes, I would, uh, I would take it. Just because that's gonna be a big potato, like big fat pitcher. Uh, it's always fun to have. So this one will be Merliana by the Lady Pauline. So that's interesting. It will be f like more tubby. Uh, what else? Literally every single plant would be interesting. It's just that I will be searching for something kind of uh, different and that have the potential of uh, making other nice hybrid. So uh, wild peristome, stripes, or really a different shape. This one, BBGA by Lady Pauline, again. It should be great. We'll see. So we have more stripes. Uh, the Lady Pauline I have, we don't have any stripes. And uh, it's uh, like a dark burgundy. Uh, this one, because of the BBGA, will be uh, lighter as a color. So. Uh, you, you may have some uh, red, pink, uh, and you see the stripes. So that, that's interesting. What else? Spatulata ampularia. Okay, interesting. Let me check that. Yeah. So this one will be able to handle a lot, a lot of different conditions. So again, uh, if you like to be uh, rounded uh, pictures, this one is for you. Because again, the, the capacity to adapt every kind of condition will be very important for you. So if you are a beginner, that may be an interesting plant. Let's have a look. Pretty nice system. Pure green, interesting. Oh, and that gets big. Very cool. Yeah. What else? Uh, so, Mirabilis var globosa, rounded, uh, Donciflora. So, that would be something lowland for me. Let me double check, but uh, Dorsiflora. I said by Mirabilis, yeah. Okay, so that will like it warmer. So even if you are, uh, you only have like a uh, little bit less than uh, 70 Fahrenheit at night, it will be happy. So that's always something you want to consider. You don't want to have to change your whole house for a plant. I would recommend you to uh, really try to find the match for your 
windowsill and then once you really are used to the independent test you can try to do other stuff okay okay so this one amara glabrata by tenui would also work and it could be interesting let's see the the plant the peristome Oh, not that toothy, but rounded, like a, a, an egg shape. Interesting. Oh, Glandulifera by Amara. So this one, Glandulifera, really lowland, and Amara Island. So we will have something in the middle. Uh, that would clearly work, it's able to handle yeah, cooler at night, but uh, still really promising. Huh, this one is interesting. Very nice. The peristome, the color, the, the fact that it's uh, really light, almost white inside. Oh yeah. Yeah, this one, definitely, I would take it. Spatulata Singalana, yeah, I can tell from here there is a nice peristome. Lady Pauline, okay, so this time they really give the, the name. By Amara. Okay, Lady Pauline Pure, Lady Pauline is great for windowsill, even if it prefer warmer condition, but uh, by Amara it will uh, change the game. And the Amara is the, the male parent. So it won't have a crazy influence. It will mainly be a regular Lady Pauline, plus the fact that it will be toothier, I don't know if it's a word, uh, and it will like it cooler at night. Wow. Nice peristome. Very nice. Hmm. Yeah. There is a lot of stuff there. And not for a crazy amount. Like, I mean, uh, if we say it's uh, $150, not including the shipping or the CTS or whatever, no, just for plants, uh, you can have a pretty decent uh, order. Okay. Glandulifera by Rockantly Eye. Yeah, would be interesting. VGI by Lowei by Mira. I already have it. That's a great one. I like the color. It's uh, pretty unique. Uh, as you see here, let's have a look. You won't have this dark uh, burgundy color. It will be on the orange, pinkish. So that's always interesting. Yeah. Mine is not that big. It's tiny, but still interesting. Okay. So the, the female parents, it won't look like that exactly, but you have a pretty good idea of the, the parent. So spatula tavicii would work. I mean, perfect. You should have a pretty good peristome. And the body is really green, impressive. There is a big difference. Huh. That's an interesting cross. You can tell this one crossed by, I don't know, uh, Trangada would be great. What else? Petulata Lowei Tentaculata. Interesting. If I'm right, the Petulata, what it like. Okay, really saunter. Pure intermediate. Okay, so this one will have a slightly highland and highland. So it will like it cooler at night, but the the peristome looks great. Look at that. 
nice uh, tone, the stripes, the color. So this one crossed with the VCI would be very interesting. If it's able to keep this uh, gradient, let me check on older features. Sometimes they change. No, it's it's on the red part. You see the old picture on the left. It's redder. So all those uh, stripes may disappear. Okay, BBGA Campanulata. That's going to be an interesting one. BBGA. It's on the warmer part. See, not exactly the center. Then add Campanulata. And then, boom, Lowland. Uh, this one will be, first, uh, the look will be really nice. You will have uh, something, the Campanulata will give a really big mouth. Um, the Burbage will give you like the light color. That's pretty cool. It's an upper, you can tell by the way the tendril is attached to the picture. Let's see if we have a lower. Even the lowers, they are great. So this plant will be quite fantastic if you live in, I don't know, uh, Florida or something really south. That may be very interesting. And the Campanulata, let's see this cross. So 31, uh, almost 90 Fahrenheit, cool. And the nights, warmer nights would be just fine. So interesting, this one, if you cannot uh, provide a cooler temp uh, at night, that's the one you want. The Rockantly Eye Aristo, uh, the Rockantly Eye will give you uh, like a highland parent, so you you see what I, where I'm going. Uh, what else? Pladikaila by Rockantly Eye, yes. Okay, so this one, nice color for sure. Interesting. So I don't know if it's plain when it open and then aging, you will have the stripes or if there is such a big uh, uh, variability of this cross that uh, you may not exactly know what you will get. Okay, look at that. That's exactly the, the true color. So, that's really interesting, yeah? This one could be... What else? Again, big Poledo, this one, uh, the Rocantly Eye, Sibilensis, Ventricosa, should handle clearly the window seal condition, but uh, it should be really, really uh, like a big baby. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a big Polito. Impressive. This one, for the fun of it, yes, I would take it. Okay, so page two now. Uh, we only reach uh, $42, so clearly, yeah, the, there is a lot of good stuff here, for the price, I mean. Uh, VTI by Platicala, yes, I have it on my windowsill. It's happier during winter, but uh, it's working for the windowsill. Hmm. Bill Belly by Rob Cantley Eye. So this one should be pretty cool. I don't know if we see uh, like an old uh, picture, just to have an idea. Yeah. Vici by Mira, Burbegia, Eduazena. I have it, this one. Uh, for now, it's doing okay. We are in August, so clearly it's warm and uh, uh, I was expecting it to stop picturing, but it's not stopping. So uh, I, my guess is it will like it uh, better during winter or cooler uh, month, but uh, that's definitely something you want to consider. This one, 
the Burby uh, plus Eduardiana will give you this nice color like um, orange, uh, pink. Uh, Vichai by Mira. Mira will give the, the red. Vichai will give the flare. So that's a good one. Ampularia by Mira. Should be, oh, it's large. Okay, okay, okay. Did I miss something earlier? No, usually they are kind of a small, again, three inch, uh, less than 10 centimeter, but sometimes they have this one, like for the price, it's a large. So 15 centimeters, sorry, I talk in centimeter here, uh, to 25, very interesting. So between six inch and 10 inch. Very nice. For the price, I mean, very nice. Hmm. So, Sibilensis Merliana, 10 cm, again, quite good for the price. And I believe this one will like it warmer. Look at that. That's a big one. Okay, let's see. Sibu Meri. R. Okay, you see? Yeah, it will like it warmer. So, always interesting, again, uh, it's pleasant to see that uh, on their website there is at least three cross uh, that could clearly work if you live in uh, warmer parts. So even that the fact that uh, it will be able to handle cooler nights also, that could grow outside. If I was in uh, Florida or something like that, like with, uh, where it's warm and humid, I would try it. Outside, I mean. But let's focus on the windowsill. So, uh, Rajamira, yes. Gilberta. Uh, Lowei Macrophila by Aristo. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm not sure to picture what it will look like, but... Oh, this is a pure species. Oh, I thought we were on the hybrid. But Maxima wavy leaf? Yeah, I have it. It's great. Uh, the color of the leaves uh, are great. Uh, so not even only the picture, but if you have different plants, uh, this one will uh, show off because in the middle of uh, a green jungle, when you have this nice color for the leaves, that's always interesting. Okay, Robcantlii vichii. I have it. Uh, it's clearly growing faster than pure uh, um, Robcantlii. So that's, that's great. Um, you may not exactly know what you will get by this cross. Uh, in a sense, depending on the influence, it may have stripes. It may only have this kind of a, a nice uh, red, pink color. So uh, I heard that this cross is really uh, flexible. So uh, you don't know. Uh, what you will get. It's really like a box of chocolate, but that's going to be a very nice peristome for sure. Okay, so we even have more information here about the female parent. That's the queen of heart. So uh, you can Google it, you will see exactly what it looks like. Plus the fact that the male parent was a barrio highland form. So that's why this one will prefer cooler night. Okay, what else? Petulata. Interesting for crosses. You can see a lot of petulata. Uh, okay. Amara Vichiai. Not bad. This one could be interesting. I know the Ventricosa by Amara that were great. This one will be more on the cooler night temperature because that's the female plant, the Amara. Nice peristome, wow. Very nice. 
Okay. That's uh, one plan that I would take, yeah. Okay, what else? Ventricosa by Amara, that's what I said. Perfect for windowsill. Perfect. So even... So those two would be interesting. Even later, if you cross these two, you will have the flare of the VCI, you will have the kind of easy going from the ventricosa plus double Amara. So it may be like an Amara, but uh, easier to grow. So that's, the two plants are interesting and their cross could be also interesting. And again, uh, Spectabilis by Amara. Pretty cool. Spectabilis is, is very nice. Yeah, look at that. Very nice color. The body, look at the body of, uh, that's great body. The, the peristome is great. Yeah, definitely an interesting one. Ventricosa by Rockantly Eye, interesting, especially if you plan to have uh, like, like hybrids, because this one will be easy for windowsill. But you will have the tubby flare from Rockantly Eye, so that may be a good uh, hybrid maker. Burke by Amada, for sure. Uh, Burke is uh, working great for me, because again, that's uh, a lot of difference between the day temperature and the night temperature. So I like Birke, like it. Uh, it don't really care if it's a lowland, intermediate island, no. I like it needs this drop of temperature uh, for me because I heard that uh, somebody was growing Birke in lowland condition. So not really war, uh, not really cold at night, not a lot of uh, difference. Uh, between day and night, and it was not especially happy. So, okay, this one, Sibilensis by Vichii by Lowii. I already have it, and that's great. You have a very nice peristome. It's stubby, uh, so pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, I would recommend this one. What else? There is so many plants here. Um, mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so it's interesting. Uh, you, we almost uh, always see the Rogantly Eye by Amara, but this is the reverse cross. So it will be more on the Amara part. But that could be interesting to, to see this cross with the reverse. Spatulata Jack. Uh, definitely. Uh, I like the Jacqueline but uh, it's still hard for the windowsill, for me. For my experience, uh, I have a hard time with that. Uh, especially uh, when it gets uh, warmer. Nah, it's, it's really mm, picky. So, Spatulata by Jack. First, you see the peristome is very nice. So, that's what we want with the Jack. And let me check. Spatulata. Jack Lenier. Nice. I like when there is a big uh, difference, so it's able to accept a lot of different conditions. So it would handle the warmer months, even the cooler uh, during winter. Okay, so that's not bad. Actually, this one would work great on my windowsill. Because... Uh, 53 Fahrenheit, exactly what I will have at night during the summer, because I run the AC. I like to sleep when it's cool. If it's too warm, I don't sleep properly, sorry. But uh, that's for summer. During winter, I cannot maintain this uh, uh, 63. Uh, it's lower. So this actually is perfect for me. Hmm. I would try to get this cross. And again, Borneo exotic. So you can always uh, see exactly what the plant will look like um, in a few years. 
Very nice. So that's the second one I would take. Okay, this one is funny. Nepenthes Enigma. For now, uh, it's like nobody knows exactly what is it. Uh, it's supposed to be something close to ventricosa. Could be a form of ventricosa or be different. There is this big uh, polido shape. So uh, could be ventricosa by uh, Merliana or something like that. But uh, on the information that you will have here, uh, oh no, ventricosa by Sibenensis. Yeah, could be, but nobody knows because that's also kind of a difference uh, from the two parents. So they are known, this one is known to produce long tendril and hold a lot of pictures. So uh, that should be fun to have. Glandulifera by Berbegie by Eduard Zena. Yes, the color should be great. Nice shape for sure. Yeah, see, I like it when it's not too dark and uh, you have some uh, difference, some stripes. It's always interesting. Oh, and it's very hairy, obviously, with the uh, uh, ah, glandulifera. Cool. Rob Cantliai by Amara, the classic one. As I said, uh, this one will be more uh, flared as the peristome, will be more, I don't know, looking like a rub, except that it will have some uh, teeth, etc. And earlier we got the reversed. So uh, it's almost like I would buy the two plants, grow them, and uh, see to be able to picture exactly the influence of a female or a male. And uh, even if you are lucky and you can have like the, the, the parents to be able to produce seeds, to have an hybrid, would be fun. What else? Oh, this one. Vici I Lowi I Edwazena. I have it, I love it. Uh, fantastic. The pictures last forever. Uh, uh, I recommend that. The Bebechiai, Vichiai, Lowiai, interesting. The color should be great. Again, it will like it on the cooler side, but it should be a fantastic color. Yeah. So it's probably just opened. This one is really late. Uh, it's probably changing later. Yeah, that's the color that you will have when the picture mature but that's a lot of stripes that's pretty pretty nice so 120 we are almost at the maximum spatulata by uh, diabolica interesting uh, except the color of the body and uh, the hairs uh, it should be really close to the classic Spatulata by Amara. The Raja by uh, Bebegie Edouazena should be very nice also. We should have some big, big uh, pictures because of the Raja. Uh, the color should be uh, uh, that dark because of the Bebegie. Okay, so it's, it's darker. It's not plain dark, but still like it should be interesting. Yeah, the female is great, classic. Yeah, so you see the color here, the male parent. Uh, you will have this fantastic uh, gradient, stripes. So, um, okay, now I, I see what it may look like. So that's a cool one. And after that, do we have other stuff? Oh no, we reached the limit. Okay, that's the end of this video. If uh, you already ordered from uh, CZ Plants, uh, let me know what you thought about the plants that you, you got. And uh, until next time, happy growing.